at, at that time, you would have to be designating where you where you would like to go. Um, you know, we're suggesting two places that are acceptable, and like I said before, there may be other places within the city that are that are just as acceptable. But I don't think it's really our place to say, you know, to pick out the, you know, all those various places. Yeah. So, what so time if you come on up, Monday, were you saying like what time? Of I mean, I think I, earlier in the day would be better so we can get it done because Tuesday is election day, City Hall is closed, and then Wednesday morning, first thing, there's cranes and trees and everything coming. So yep. you, so you kind of just back it up and say, well, we should probably deal with this so, early on Monday. So when you... Are you suggesting? Sorry? How early are you suggesting? Okay. Noon time, I, 1 o'clock. I, no, like, I would we, need... If we're trying to agree on a morning I'd say time, before, then I have too. a disagreement. Because, but at the latest, um, I don't think that we'll be able to apply for a permit Monday morning. I think that um, we're going to have to discuss this, and we can probably get back to you as what our plan will be Monday. Um, and I would suggest Monday afternoon or evening. Um, that would be good for me. I don't know if if everybody else agrees on morning, then that's okay. But I I happen to think that we might be able to come to agreement within our group that we can decide where we, we should go and that you know what they're being proactive enough to come out and yes. speak civil and and put it out there what they're thinking that we should respect that likewise by going in Monday and being like look we decided that this is where we can go and pay the $25 fee and get the permit and go there um, but you know through our discussions yesterday you know we've been um, willing to make that exception, you know, because you know this is the type of. But that's not law, though. No, that's so not. So if they get a permit, a permit only allows you to stay there until what time by by law? What do you mean? Well, it depends. A when permit like what, when may only allow you till nine o'clock or ten o'clock at night. Is there, is there time frames for a permit? There are, you know, based on the the city parks, but we can, you know, the permit will allow the city to make make exceptions within that. So we could have tents 24-7, same setup as here. Well, that's going to be up to the Parks Department, and based on like, where you're going to go oh. and, what, and what everything, you know, you're, you're you know, the, all the, uh, Will the uh, Parks the Department representative be available to come and discuss with us? Because sure. He wasn't available Friday to discuss anything with us. Because I think that's important. I mean, we appreciate you guys coming out here, but if, if, if ever we have to put our faith in someone else's, you know, decision, then we have concerns because our number one concern is our, our ability to, to do what we're doing, you know. So if if we, you know, negotiate and find another place that we are willing to go, if all that does happen and we sub submit an application and then, like, that gets turned around on us, then we're going to say, you know, back to the plaza. People's plaza. The mayor, you know, would certainly, you know, dictate the direction that the city is going to go. And, and, you know, so this was the decision that came out of that meeting. And, you know, so I was taking it in face value. The mayor dictates, you know, the policy of the entire city. You know, okay. You guys, everyone knows this is pretty much an unprecedented move. Yeah. This is, everybody, there's a learning curve. Yeah. Here. And, and we don't like. We don't want friction with anyone. We're trying to work this all out to everyone's best interest, you know. And, and that's technically by city ordinance. You know, things could have gotten ugly very early. Right. Technically, by city ordinance, you're not allowed to live. set up structures, tie things to trees, set up a tent, other than parks that are specifically designed for overnight accommodations. And there, like those are there's a lot of regulations that the city has overlooked. Overlooked. <laughs> to allow you guys to be here um, in, in large part because part of your movement is the occupation of a space you know and that that is your speech yeah. at least that is what I would believe your your position to be on that um, but that it doesn't entitle somebody to just do whatever they want to do you know the government still has has a right to um, restrict within you know reasonable limitations on time place and uh, manner that a protest takes place. As long as the government remembers that it's our government. Completely agree with you, sir. And we're part of the Can you speak up? As long as the government so recognizes that they're our government. We have a right to speak up and also to make
make sure that the underlying purposes of the nation